Hey everybody, Nate Tice here from The Athletic Football Show, back again with another edition of Wind Clock. This week, going to be looking at Russell Wilson, who's partying like it's 2019. Going to be looking at a couple of those Broncos design runs and see how Sean Payton and his Broncos coaching staff use Russell Wilson in the QB run game to hit a big play and then a touchdown to help them beat the Browns for their fifth straight win. Russ is currently scrambling at the highest rate since the 2020 season when he's still with the Seahawks. How the Broncos and Sean Payton are using Russell Wilson is a lot of read plays to the outside where Russell Wilson's reading one of the ends, he keeps the ball or gives it, and then they have different variations with that. We're going to see a couple of those variations that they used against the Browns, a very, very, very tough Browns defense. On this first example, and this is where you might have heard Russell Wilson say pizza, pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. And why he said pizza, pizza, I'll explain in a second. But this is something that the Broncos were doing throughout the day, which is they were getting into 21 personnel. That's Michael Burton, a fullback right there, a tight end, two wide receivers, running back in the backfield with Russell Wilson in the shotgun. They were starting in this double wing set where a tight end, fullback, and then doing this shift in motion with Burton getting back into a split back set. They had a pass out of this kind of shifting and motioning earlier in the game, but it fell incomplete. Russ almost had a cool completion. I wasn't going to show it. I'll send it to producer Cam. Maybe he can just skim right through it and you can just see the near completion that Russell gets out of it. But you can see that the Broncos are trying to get to this look throughout the game. This play is going to be a zone read arc play, which is a arc block by Burton there a zone read by Russell where he'll be reading the defensive end. So as you see right there, Russell Wilson is giving a call and you can see a little hand motion there, right? You see a little bit of hand motion. We'll see it better from the end zone view. But if you notice, you see Burton and the running back Javante Williams are flopping here. Now, what that pizza pizza call meant was flip, flip the call and flip sides pizza flip the pizza get it you can say whatever you want like you can have whatever term to flip it mirror uh playmaker if you're a madden fan but in the sean payton offense they use pizza pizza as their term to flip the play so if you were curious about why he was yelling pizza pizza out of nowhere in the middle of an nfl game that is exactly why it's not just because he's a Raphael or a donatello fan now as this play unfolds there is the zone read element there is russ reading miles garrett here and this is Burton, which is the arc coming across to be a lead blocker. So that is the zone read arc. It's all three of these guys right here. And the offensive line is blocking zone. A key block will be Jerry Judy here, which I'll show better from the end zone view. But you can kind of see here, he pins down this defensive player here to create the leverage on the outside. The run game is all about angles and numbers. And this is like a perfect example of how angles and numbers work. There is the zone read on Miles Garrett. He crashes down. Burton has nobody to block because the action's so good. And Russell gets a huge gain, gets the ball inside the 10-yard line. Now, I'm going to show the end zone view because the run game always got to show the end zone view. But here, you can see Russell give him the pizza pizza call. You know, a little flip there. Flip that pizza. So there's Burton. And there's Javante Williams doing a little flipperoo. So they do that flip. And why they are doing that and why I think Russell Wilson is killing this play or switching this play or flopping this play, flipping it, whatever you want to say, mirroring this play, I think they wanted to read Miles Garrett here, put the bind on him as opposed to asking somebody to block him. So let's just say we don't block him and hopefully he guesses wrong and we can get angles and create a big play. And that's exactly what happens. And what's great about zone read stuff is that you don't have to block somebody. So Bowles just gets to go straight to the second level Left guard gets a cut off here. The center flies to the second level. We get a double here. And then we get a block here on Zadarius Smith. Again, Russell is going to be reading Miles Garrett. And Burton is going to be lead blocking. And Judy gets a huge block right here. And you can see the angles created. Much easier for Judy to block down here than straight ahead. And easier than Burton having to create a block in space. And, you know, and Russell have to read that angle. So again, it's all about numbers and angles in the run game. So they're gonna be running the zone read here and you can see Russell reads Garrett. And so when he crashes down, that is a keep. If he were to just play it right here and just read it, then it would be a give. And they would just run a zone block on with some advantageous angles and numbers, like I pointed out. But instead Garrett crashes down. And sometimes defenses like to scrape exchange, which is the defensive end will crash down. This is to play zone read. This is a counter to zone read. 
and the linebacker will play over the top to replace him, just baiting the quarterback. Oh, he crashed, and then he keeps the ball and gets smoked by the linebacker. But instead, here comes Jerry Judy, boom, pinning that linebacker. Russell reads the keep, read, and he is off. Because it's such a good fake, Emerson, who is what Burton is supposed to be blocking too, which we'll see in the next play example, uh, instead, he's already almost to the hash. And this is Russell Wilson out in space and again inside the 10-yard line. The Broncos thought that worked so well, they decided to just repeat the play. They just go to the exact same play call on the very next snap, the other side, and without the pizza pizza call to flop the backs. <laughs> but you're going to see here, same play, just going to the right side, reading Zadarius Smith this time, as opposed to Miles Garrett. And really, this play would have worked and probably scored if Juan Thornhill wasn't such a smart player here in the post for the Browns. So again, this is without the pizza pizza call. So Russ is going to read the D end. You're going to have Burton out leading. This can go here. Russ is going to keep the ball out in space. We're going to have a crack block right on the linebacker. And away we go. Russell keeps. Defense and crashes. There is the help over the top. He gets cracked. There's Burton out in space. And you can see when the corner does not <laughs> go all the way to the hash, that is why Burton's out leading and arc blocking. That is to create the angle and pick that block and and really give, it should give Russell a nice lane into the end zone. But you can see Thornhill goes, well, you guys just got me literally the last play and I'm not going to get fooled again on the next play. And he makes a great play and you can see him be lying to the ball, races the angle, makes a nice tackle and saves it. So I'll show the end zone view real quick because Thornhill is pretty funny on this play. And the fact that he just goes, yeah, no, no, you're not getting me. And it's a really nice play by him. Now, why did I show that? It was only a couple yard gain was because just a couple plays later, the Broncos were like, hey, we're kind of liking this QB read game. Even if he doesn't keep it, we can maybe hand it off and get some nice angles and maybe score. So here they get into 11 personnel, which is three wide receivers and use a jet motion to run just a classic zone read. So there's no arc block by Burton. There's nobody else pulling out in front of Russell. This is just a classic read the D end. If he crashes, keep the ball. And the end zone view is probably better for this. But again, you see Russell reading the DN. As soon as that DN bites down, he keeps it. And he makes a great effort to score. Beating the corner, coming from the outside. That is a bet offenses make that a cornerback trying to tackle from the outside in is a win for the offensive player. Just angles and hopefully cornerbacks, you know, they're playing corner for a reason because usually they can't tackle. They're gotten better though. NFL tackling is good right now. I want to show this one from the end zone view to show how the jet motion by Mims really affects the Browns linebackers and second level defenders. So you see that jet motion, you see all this bumping across, bump, bump, bump. You can see all that communication that has to happen down here in the red zone. Even Thornhill get, is getting affected. So at the snap of the ball, they're already bumping over and they're really, they have to play hard. They're just saying, no, you're not scoring. This is a tight ball game. This is near the end zone. You are not getting those six points. So they come crashing hard. Same with the defensive end there, Alex Wright. So when defensive end Wright crashes down to take Williams, Russell keeps it and makes a nice play to score. Now, these are just simple read plays, but it's just good football. It's using Russell Wilson's athleticism, even if it's not what it was maybe as a rookie where he's using design runs over 10% of the time, it's still very effective. And Sean Payton and this Broncos offense have really found something of a groove as far as not only just defense not giving up 70 points anymore, but it's really an identity on offense. They pound the rock. They have three different running backs that they use. Heavy play action with Russell Wilson launching it to Cortland Sutton, drawing pass interferences or throwing something to Marvin Mims or Jerry Judy. They also get into this heavier personnel, a lot of tight ends, fullback Michael Burton, like you saw in these plays, and Russell's legs, like his scrambling, his design run ability is just sprinkling in, in just a little different element to the Sean Payton Denver Broncos offense. And it's working for him. Like this Broncos team is really picking up and baby, you got a stew going with this Broncos offense. Baby, you got a stew going. I think I'd like my money back. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this week's Wind the Clock. Please like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the Athletic Football Show YouTube channel. I'll be here every single week breaking down something offense, defense, maybe special teams. We'll see. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't really gotten something yet, but we'll hopefully we'll see something soon by the end of the season. Thank you guys again for so much for joining me. See you guys next time.